Hello everyone and welcome back to Junonia Origins where I'm going to once again try to do a mission on the ground, in the air and in space. So going with the trifecta again, I think that's a good pattern for now but it probably won't persist throughout the series obviously. Uh, but we have the village race for our ground one, we have learning to fly and shockingly fast for the air one, and then drew orbit and light speed for the space one. So we'll begin with village race because I already have the car loaded up and we will see how that goes. Um, I'll just continue with this car. It seems safer, but maybe it's not fast enough. It was meant for off-roading, but we'll see. We'll feel that out. So let's just launch. Okay, so village race is what we want. I don't remember it being like this though. Oh, maybe this thing is too targeted. Oh, okay. Okay, we got that. Okay, now the timer has started. Oh, no, no. Oh gosh. Well, um, Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I can't see anything. Okay, so Juno statue, back door. I mean, we've been through these places. Uh, let's target the upper patio. Okay. I went down the quick way. <laughs> it's instead of using the slope. That's probably good for a race. I need to get different music. I need to get different music. I need to remember to get different music. Okay, back door. Under six minutes is not. I mean, that's easy, right? This must be a race. Oh, 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 oh. Camera's going all over the place. Okay, back. Oop. But my nose cone keeps taking damage. Okay, back door. Oh, oh, the battery tank. No, don't damage the... Oh my god, the camera's going crazy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, this is too wide for these. Hmm. Okay, we need to go back to the runway. Or, no, I, I think we can... Why, why even bother with this? Uh, no, there's still a little pylon thing you use over there. Um, we can go up that slope. Take that, you little stupid pylons. <laughs> okay, no biggie. Got that. End flight, recover craft, recover craft. Alright. So, no more ground stuff. That was easy. There's another village race, but we'll save that for later. We're just going to focus on what we've got here. So, five minutes through checkpoints. Um... We need to fly faster. I don't want to use the rock. Uh, well, rocket engine will be fine. I don't want to use the propeller. We've got some points. Gyroscope, gear retraction. Oh, we weren't able to retract the gear before? I thought we were. Okay, so we don't have the centaur engine and we don't have enough tech points to get it. Rocket engine it is. I just don't think the electric motor is powerful enough for my needs. And we have money. Okay, so going with the new shark here, we're gonna take that off. I'm going all out. We're gonna put one of these on. But we're gonna make it cheapish. 18 minutes. Well, now we have a much lower thrust to weight ratio, though. Uh, we probably need to load less in each tank. Well, small nozzle would be good. Nine minutes is still a long time. We really don't need more than the maximum time for the mission. Five minutes. 5.5 minutes. Sounds good. But maybe we should change it up a little bit and make this larger. Okay, all that being said, let's see where the center of things are. Okay, that looks fine to me. Alright, let's find out. My main concern is the lip at the start of the runway. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a painful thing. So, 
We've got a checkpoint. Let's target that checkpoint. That's the runway edge again. I don't know if I need the stability assist, but... Oh, the throttle's not working again. Okay, carefully, carefully. Ooh, okay, go. Oh no, oh no, wheels, come on. Runway edge, runway edge, runway edge, runway edge. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> uh, it's a bit nose heavy though. I guess we can't retract the landing gear yet. I probably should be in the chase view. Okay, the stability assist is making me annoyed. Okay, checkpoint's over there. Okay, let's throw all down here. Oh, there's 10 points? Jeez. Might be more than I bargained for. Uh, it still feels like I've got stability assist on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Ah. Okay, yeah, there's something weird about the controls right now. Hmm, that could be caused by a lot of things though. Uh, well, we'll just save that failure. I'm gonna sort of increase these. Pitch, definitely stick to me. Yeah, just have it outboard and do roll. I don't know if I need to invert them or not. I might just want to keep them on auto, but... Having retractable landing gear might be good, though. Uh, maybe we should just pay for the technology. Gear retraction. Okay. Well-balanced wheel with normal grip on any surface. Well, that might be good too. I don't know if I'm getting the wheel wheel. Maybe that's a different kind of wheel. I thought it was the landing gear, but... Okay, anyway. Let's try it again. This time, chase view. Okay, so carefully. Oh, I need my missions. Um, I feel like... Oh, did they already count the completion of the Mach Point 3 one? That was quick. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh. Okay, I, I claim that we should be able to retry that. <laughs> That's just silly. You know, when they make these sloping runways, like at Lucklow or something, they make it smooth, right? Maybe I'll have stability assists on this part. Okay. Barely. Okay. Gear up. Oh, shoot! Uh, okay, we might have... Oh, is landing gear not on G? It might be on 8. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was always on 8. Uh, okay, we've got... We're, we're, uh, we're tail heavy. That's great for certain things. Maybe I'll use the... Okay, no, this isn't gonna work. Okay. I think we need to move the center mass forward or move the wings back. Maybe I'll even move the wing up a bit. And yeah, stability assist at this point is probably a good idea. Maybe. 
Yeah, uh, 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 go through it. Okay. Gear up. Rolling is not rolling. I'm not rolling. I thought I told those things to be roll, but they're not doing roll. Uh oh. I said on auto and it. On, uh, oh, maybe because I moved it too far back, it's no, no longer thought it was roll. Gosh darn it. Okay. Yeah, I changed these to pitch and we had no more roll control. You know what? It's time, since those are too far back to be good for roll, it's time to do forward swept wings. Now see, it's roll. It automatically went to roll because I forward swept the wing. Uh, let's be clear about the center mass and center lift again. Ah, uh, that's not good. So, as with many forward swept wings, we have to move this further back. Okay, but does it still roll? It's still roll. Okay, stay roll, please. Okay. Bottle up. I'll just leave SAS on for this part, but it still wants to go left. So, I don't know if it's the most helpful thing. And it still squirrels around with the landing gear. Okay, SAS off, gear up. Okay, well now we can turn, that's good. Improvement! Handling-wise, this isn't great. Don't know if this is fast enough. Uh... Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, it has really bad control oscillations sometimes. Ah. Woo. Okay, go faster. Go faster. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, whoa. Oh. I don't even know what it did there. Okay, okay. I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Okay. It's not how you're supposed to fly. It stalls. Uh, it pulls away from. Okay, it's it's not going where I want it to go. Ah. Uh, it's getting more imbalanced, I think. It's also going slower than it ought to. Okay, okay. We'll just try and recover it. Hmm. Well, maybe I should slow down a bit. Okay. Maybe we won't do canards. <laughs> I mean, this, this is getting a little bit too finicky. Let's be more conventional. Hate to be conventional. The wing should be at the center of the two tanks, roughly speaking. But I feel like definitely needs to be moved further back than it was before. This thing needs to be out here. We're not going that fast, so it should be all right like this. And I'm just going to give it more fuel, actually. And more power. It's not that much more cost, anyway. Mass of the engine shouldn't be too big a uh, determinant as far as where the center mass ends up. Okay, didn't need that jump, but alright. Okay, it's a much more conventional design stop SAS, or stability assist. Oh, okay, maybe I should just have stability assist on, it's just, I don't know. 
both ways seem stiff and prone to get out of whack. Okay, as oh no, SAS is fighting me now. I mean, or the stability assist thing is fighting me. But the plane is fighting me too. Oh, I didn't retract the gear. Uh, oh. oh, wait. Go retract. Okay, maybe it was retracted. It just doesn't look retracted because it hardly retracts much. It still sticks out. Okay. I can't get that. We have fuel, but not too much time. We probably have to try and survive with this, don't we? And land. Oh, okay, no. Two and a half minutes left. Okay. Well, we might as well get the gear down. Need all the drag I can get. I can't hit the runway edge very easily. This, uh, it just, it's not a very precise plane right now. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It tends to jitter all over the place. Is it something to do with my outer controls, maybe? I don't know. It's very frustrating to fly this right now. I think I've had better flying planes in Juno before, so... It's just this plane, I guess. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. We don't have time. It just doesn't want to stay at pitch. Maybe at the end I'll use stability assist or something. Maybe let's have it now. Oh god, see see how it turned the uh, roll? Okay, yeah, it, it wants to like auto roll. Okay, I don't have time to land, but I guess I might as well practice the landing. Yeah, it just auto rolls and that's really annoying. Okay, let me turn it on now since I don't want to roll much. Uh, ah, it's still... Oh, because I have no time left, it doesn't target the runway edge anymore. Oh, yeah, I can't land with this. Well, I'm so disappointed, I'll just crash. Okay, hmm. I don't know. This is a fairly straightforward design, though. What's wrong with it? Is it because it needs gyros? Does the game need gyros to be able to control something? That might have been a thing. Flexion speed. Well, the rolling wasn't the problem. Pitch was much more of a problem. And let's just make sure that's roll. Pitch. I'll bet. So I'll reduce the deflection speed and angle. I don't know. That's as simple a plane as I can make it, really. Maybe I'll make it less pointy. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any difference. Oh, turn that off. <laughs> Otherwise it's gotta stop me from rolling all the time.
Okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. Oh, my god. Airspeed thing. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, no. I'm wasting time. Oh no! <laughs> Missed it again. Oh, I don't even have the timer thing up. Uh, I'm Gustal. I'm Gustal. Pick, pick, come on. Hey. This is not a way to go at it. <laughs> uh, okay. Just be optimistic about it and extend my landing year again. Oh no, checkpoint eight. Uh, checkpoint eight. Oh no, I missed checkpoint eight. Oh, it's no way to approach the runway. Okay, let's try the stability assist. Okay, no. Uh, I can't get to the runway. How was I ever able to do this one? Okay, let's do rockets. Let's do rockets. <laughs> uh, this is too painful. We'll have to pass on that one this time. This time I won't do three in the same episode. I mean, uh, land, air, and land, air, and space. We'll just go to space. Let's go to orbit for the first time and make ourselves feel better. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now with this one, I'm going to actually make a more vacuum optimized nozzle, I think. 277, we're getting a little bit more delta V than strictly correct would be, but it's okay. Well, that's $121,000. It's got more than enough delta V, probably. Definitely. I've dumped the gyro. Maybe I should put the gyro in. I'll put a tiny, tiny bit of gyro. <laughs> Just because. No engine, interstage, no engine. Seems alright to me. And were there any other requirements? Let's take a look. New craft, periapsis above 80, and we'll definitely be going faster than that. Okay, no payload, no catches, as far as I can tell. Let's get this done. No, oh, what issues? Oh, too tall. Huh. Okay, I made it too pointy. We can sacrifice some delta V. Better thrust weight ratio is good anyway. I could tuck this engine in too. Actually, it could do better with a smaller nozzle. Since it's sea level. Yeah, we probably want it to be even smaller than that. It's 
barely. Oh, not like that. Barely getting off the ground like that. Well, that's cutting it closer. But okay. Um, that's below the limit. Let's try it. We should at least get two kilometers per second done. Okay, throttle up, netball, stability assist is on, and go. Let's go. We use the tiny little gyro to roll a bit first, so it's easier for me to turn. I'll do due east, of course. Okay, looking good. Though the stats that we want are probably down here. Maybe I should make a plane from scratch, because I'm using the one from uh, the previous save. I mean, the previous career playthrough. Maybe there's something wrong with it now. And if I make one from scratch, it'd be better. Okay, staging. Well, we're going a little bit steep here. First orbital rocket, question mark? Pretty sure it's gonna be. Okay, we got light speed, we got to 2,000 meters per second. Orbital velocity apparently counts. Okay, and here we go for orbit. Okay, it's satisfied with that, we've gotten to orbit. Well, let's not dirty space so much, let's deorbit this. Here's where gyros come in. Uh, just a little. Uh, that was a tiny. It's only one percent gyro, one percent gyro, and you can do this. You know what? Maybe I should just dump gyro into the plane. I mean, I, I I get the feeling that they meant for us to have gyros, and that's all going wrong because we don't have a gyro in there. But really, planes aren't supposed to need one. Well, rockets don't need one either. But anyway, maybe that's the thing. Okay, well, that'll leave this suborbital. Let's see. Let's see it meet its demise. Verifying that the thermal system works here. Now we see some thermal effects. Let's go into 1x. Doesn't make a difference on that. Interesting thermal effect. Don't know what to make of that. It's because we're away from retrograde. Let's just see. Does it look if I'm directly retrograde? Still sort of weird. Are you gonna blow this up? <laughs> Go on game, blow it up! You know you want to. It's worth noting that when engines are off, they don't have very good heat tolerance because they don't have the propellant cooling the nozzle. Engines only have good heat tolerance when there's propellant running through them. Yeah, but it seems like this engine is uh, protecting us too well with its big nozzle. Definitely. Well, that's interesting to know for future reference. We'll undoubtedly I mean, maybe we shouldn't take advantage of it, but we'll undoubtedly have a mission where we could theoretically take advantage of that. At least the ground is going to kill it, right? Unless we're over water, and water is, water is fickle. Okay... It's, it's floating. It hit water and it survived. In flight, recover craft. Recovery cost is 2.21 million though. It's gonna cost money to recover this craft so it's best to just destroy it. But, just for the record, we could recover it, but the recovery cost is crazy. That's crazy for the recovery cost. Anyway, destroy craft. But yeah, interesting, interesting lack of demise of our upper stage there. But, alright, we fill that. Um, we have a new customer. 
Okay, for a satellite mission. And that's more more my speed. Uh, going fast isn't too bad either. I can easily go fast. That's no problem. Uh, but that learning to fly one is a pain. But I'm sure it's a progression mission. So there's that too. Alright, we'll contemplate these next time. But for now, I'll wrap it up here. I'll try and make a clean craft instead of opening an old one. And see if that helps with the airplane one. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.